Ladies and gentlemen from around the world, are you ready? Are you ready for Smoko with Mario, episode 17? Here's Mario. It's-a me, a Mario. <laughs> Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, Pi. I hope you've had a bloody good day. So this is Smoko with Mario, episode 17. Bloody marvellous, coming up to number 20. So let's get on with the uh, food, but first a sip from our Moz 42 cup. Moz from Far North Queensland, the only sponsor's product um, on display here uh, today, uh, sent uh, free of charge to this um, fine establishment, uh, my office, once again, and uh, hopefully um, we'll be able to uh, sort of tell that story as to why that is. But, um, you know, things are happening, things are moving, and uh, we may well, um, you know, one day get a guest on Smoko with Mario. So today, um, I'm going to be um, eating this Donburi from Katsubi Red Bowl, katsubi.co.nz, and um, I'll tell the story as we go along. Um, I've um, usually uh, get this uh, at the base in the food hall there and eat it there, but today I got it and brought it home for Smoko with Mario. So this is the regular size. I suspect the price has gone up. $17.90 for this one. And this is the fork that comes with it, but I've sort of provided my own. Now typically I get a uh, tofu, um, not because I'm a, a, a vegan or anything particular like that, it's just that it's the, um, I actually quite like their tofu, it's one of the few tofus I actually do like, so there, but it was right at the end of the day, so um, they, that was the last of the tofu. And uh, so I've got a little bit here of um, spicy chicken, I think. Hmm. Sweet and spicy chicken. Hmm. Um. It's spicy and uh, chickeny. So, hmm. And a little bit sweet. So yeah, so, so the story of the Smoko, alright, so today's my off weekend, a weekend when I um, don't go up to the hospital, and usually it's one where I plan to do some work around the house but this particular case I'm quite a way behind with preparing for the start of classes for semester two next week given that um, they've sort of management has upped their game in a number of areas and um, becoming a, a wee bit um, strident with their requirements around all manner of things that whereas they haven't been previously so there's all sorts of um, interesting um, things going on there's talk of um, tutors being perf um, you know being liable for um, 
various things. I've just noticed I haven't plugged in the power pack for the um, for my phone, so I'm hoping that it's still recording. So just in case, just to make sure that we don't um, run out of power. Yes, we're still recording there. I've got two cameras going. Um, I've got the, um, yep, it's still recording. So, yeah, I have two cameras going, a backup. So I have my phone on the Smart Mic app. And uh, then I have the Snooper as well. But I had forgotten to pack it, uh, put in the power pack. So there's a chance. And could run out of um, power. Now. This Don Brewery, there's some rice down here somewhere. A little bit of um, kimchi, I think, there. I'm not sure. Mm, some rice noodles. And then way down the bottom here, some rice, so that's, that's a reasonably substantial um, meal, but um, nice. I quite enjoy it from time to time, but yeah. So, we we we. So, yes. So, I went into work yesterday and put in a solid eight hours yesterday which has pretty much covered me for classes on Monday and I was hoping to go in today and get prepped up for and through to Tuesday but no it didn't quite work out that way never mind I found a couple of other things that I needed to attend to um, before that. So, however, I did manage to get in my Instagram of the day. Um, As um, it's, uh, I should say, it's around about 5:30 ish now. So I got in around about um, probably after, between 10 and 11, probably closer to 11 if I'm honest. And um, yeah. I settled in and um, well, I did a couple of little tidy up things for uh, Monday stuff actually. And um, then I, I had a, I started to get a little bit hungry so I didn't have any food with me. And um, so I um, took a wee trip to the vending machine. which prompted my little um, TikTok of the day as a, regarding a Smoko check and um, also my picture of the day around my having had some Smoko being ready for work or work ready <laughs> As they say, so mmm. So that was um, yeah. That sort of sorted out those things. Now this afternoon, I did a bit more work.
through to about 3.30 and uh, at 3.30 I started packing up and um, heading over to the base for my COVID jab, COVID-19 jab, my second attempt at my first jab. So, um, armed with a letter from my GP, um, As you may recall, my first one was aborted um, early in the piece um, uh, due to my um, hospital adventures. And the nurses not sort of knowing quite what the deal was. They asked me to get a letter from my GP, which I did. So, off I went. And, um, yeah. A relatively painless process. I, um, Oh, there's a lovely little ginger taste in something here. It's mm, quite nice. So, yeah, lined up and sat down and lined up and sat down and went and talked to a nurse and she, um, poked me in the arm with a needle. I didn't actually, it was all over before I'd even thought about it, to be honest. I I was thinking to myself, you know, I, I always have a little bit of banter uh, going on with these things, and I was thinking to myself whether to ask. I found that the nurses up at the hospital, um, before they put a needle in, they usually, or a lure, and they usually say two things. Uh, one is a sharp scratch, or um, um, small prick. Oh, no, they don't say small prick. <laughs> Sharp scratch or uh, something. Oh, I can't remember what the other one is now. Escaped my mind. But um, sharp scratch is one that is. Uh, yeah, and um, then they put it in. But um, this lady said nothing. And I felt this little tinkle in my arm. And then she said, you can go now. It's all over. Oh, okay. Mm. She asked me to relax my arm, but I, my, I think I'm pretty sure it's my condition. I can re never remember, always remember, um, never being able to relax my muscles since a very young age. I was always tense in that. Hmm. Oh, I need no. I need you to relax. I need. They always say, and I say, well, I don't. I'm not good at relaxing my muscles. That is. Hmm. So, um, yeah. So anyway, that was all over and done with. And it was at the base. I was able to park in the over sixty-five car park, so I didn't have to walk very far at all underground out of the weather that was awesome and then um, I had to walk well pretty much walk right past the food hall so I thought and I thought to myself oh smoko I'll do that I'll get a Don brewery um, from um, Katsubi Katsubi there and well that's what I've done and it's almost half gone now. Um, down to the rice and veggies and Hmm. Very nice. Hello, Mr. Corn. 
I'll see you again later. Mmm. So, um, mmm. So that's my smoker. As we head in to the, um, to the new, new semester. Mmm. Got a few things planned. Bit different. Few things to do differently. Um, we'll give them a go, see how they go. Um, probably involve a little bit of work, but. There's still a fair bit of work to do at the front end. Just to um, keep everything up to date and stuff. So I'm going to be working um, quite a few late on most days, quite late. Try and get some of my um, social media stuff sort of during, done in my breaks during the day. So that I'm not going too late at night. Get some good sleep in. Um, fortunately, the lawns are not quite growing at the moment. Um, so, yeah. Um... There's not that much light at the end of the day, so there's not really a chance to actually get much done. Oh. Hmm. Working on it. I'm very interested in um, looking at you know, workload and things like that. It's a, I don't know, a big issue, I feel. You get asked to do... I've never been at a job where someone's come up to me and said, look, I see you, you know, you, you're doing, you're doing way more than you need to. How about we get someone else to do this, this, and this so that you can do less? I've never, I don't think I've ever been in a job where that's happened. Which is, you know, when you think about it, it's a bit odd, really. Well, it's true, but it makes no sense. Because surely, you know, some people, you would think people would take on too much. And you've had to adjust. It seems to me that you, you go to a workplace and then you, you know, sort of accumulate things to do and then then you leave and people either don't do those things <laughs> um, or they hire a couple of people to replace you <laughs> mm. the fair distribution of work hmm
Mind you. Most people you work with um, tell you how much they're doing and how they're overworked. I've never, <laughs> never really, uh, on the other hand, I guess the other side of the argument, I've never met anybody who um, sort of admits, oh, this job's a doddle, I only have to do uh, three days' work to, to get five days' pay or something like that. Hmm. Um, yeah, you don't um, encounter that either. But there must be some sort of optimization software that's able to um, sort of determine workload and protect, you know, workload or the effect of various workloads for individual employees. Like, um, I, I did a, um, a call, uh, well, when I was doing mine, a bit of mine plat, um, I went on a course on long-term planning of mines, and there was a guy, well, the guy running the course, um, did some work, or had some software associated with the optimization of, of trucks in a, in a mine situation, and he could program in, um, you know, the cycles of the trucks, um, what effect it would have if you change the gradient of a haul road, increase the radius of a curve, um, you know, had a slightly different shift structure. Um, he had programmed in things like morning and afternoon smokos and uh, morning and afternoon tea, um, downtime for the trucks, uh, even had the gear ratios of the different uh, trucks that you were using sort of all could be programmed into this uh, simulation, I guess it was, and they could simulate, you know, what would happen if you did this particular operation and then from that they could say, well, hang on, we haven't got enough trucks here. It's, um, you know, and uh, we're using too much fuel because that... Um, Hall roads too steep, and I mean this was back in the 1980s. So I would have thought since then, especially with a, in a teaching environment, it, it wouldn't be too difficult to sort of allocate various time things. Even even if they were wrong, it would still give you a relative uh, rating um, of the workers and find out who's doing the work and who's. Not, I mean, okay, if you find out that everyone's only working 30 hours a week and they should be 37, well, you know, you, you could look at that as well. But, I mean, typically, I think you find that most people, and where I am, are, are doing well over their, you know, 37 and a half hours that they're, that they're paid for each week and some a lot more than others and um, yeah I, I mean I, I, my feeling is that we've got um, you know a couple of a, a couple of um, workers that um, you know are considered to be um, not doing their things I, I think they might be the norm and that everyone else is overachieving to be honest um, <laughs> that um, yes, some, some do you know, way more than they should. And the, uh, the um, employer, I think, is um, encouraging, encourages that. And um, 
sort of uses it to, um, you know, to a bad effect on uh, some of the others who who could well be just um, doing what they're actually, you know, or, or spending the amount of time that they're doing. They might, of course, they won't be achieving them as much as the the other guys on um, on uh, you know that are doing you know 10 15 hours more per week it stands to reason but um, it's been my experience that there seems to be a general reluctance um, on the on the by employers to um, you know accurately try to measure or um, you know simulate or sort of uh, rationalise workload and it does have a detrimental effect on the employees um, you know it affects um, as I, I record in my vlog I, I, and I, I I think I can notice in my vlog that uh, when things are getting a bit stressful and I've got a lot of work I uh, my lawns don't get mowed my exercise goes down and my weight goes up and um, I my sleep um, gets less as well. Now these are, you know, that's just how it is. Um, but that's um, and the, and what we're find, what I believe is happening is that now that's going spreading over a longer period. Whereas before it was in uh, short bursts, it's now going over a longer period. And as I've introduced my uh, social media uh, regime or things, two things that. Um, that has meant I've got less time for work, and it actually, and I've I've sort of tried to lock that in, um, and then that's that pushes out into the other areas. So it's sort of a bit of an informal way of doing it, I guess, what I've been doing. But um, you know, I've been sort of trying to do it, and I'd love to have some time to. to work on the numbers and come up with a scheme but yeah it'd, uh, I'd have to do that in my own time and it would impact on a lot of my other stuff so yeah so that's my uh, little um, I don't know what you'd call it uh, little uh, topic of the day is certainly workload and it's certainly coming to the fore now um, as I try and get prepped for uh, next week, and um, yeah, um, I haven't achieved uh, all of the uh, required um, things, but um, I think we'll, um, you know, we'll be putting on a good show for the students, hopefully, or well, the best show we can, and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. Now, I always look forward to the beginning of a, a new term, new beginnings, and um, New, sometimes new students, but the students are looking for new beginnings, trying to improve on the, their performance in the last semester and, and that sort of thing. So it's a, quite a mutual sort of time. And uh, they've had a little bit of a break, so they're a bit refreshed. They've got some experiences they want to share. I'm going to catch up with some of their mates and uh, things like that. So, yeah, fun times ahead for a couple of weeks anyway. And then, of course, there's all the um, all the screw ups to sort out and uh, try to rationalise everything and get it all moving forward. Uh, that's always uh, interesting. Uh, every year, the uh, the timetable and the uh, class allocation and the students and the time and enrolment. They bring up new, um, well, they re re regurgitate some of the existing problems, but they bring up uh, new and interesting uh, ways of, um, you know, making things interesting, uh, you know, some may say, um, of, um, you know, the way that they uh, royally screw things up. But hey, that's, um, that's it. So um, it's, um, yeah, that was the Ketsubi uh, Red red Bowl Ketsubi, and that was a Domburi, I think it was called, but it was um, very nice. It's very filling, um, healthy, oh, probably. 
um, certainly uh, covered, uh, was better than my earlier smoko today, um, which consisted of um, an apricot slice, um, an Afghan biscuit and a big nut bar all from the uh, vending machine. So certainly uh, less uh, processed food as such, but um, yeah, all in all, um, yeah, pretty good. So yeah, I think that's, uh, that's all from me. Um, hopefully we'll see you next week and well, maybe you'll be sitting here next to me. Who knows? Anybody's guess. So, have a bloody marvellous week. Look after yourself. Stay healthy. Have Don't forget to have smoke oak. And uh, yeah, you're all bloody marvellous. Hi pie. This has been a Mario presentation. Please, if you would like to participate or have your products included or placed in Smoko with Mario, please let me know. You can contact me, Mario, at mario.com. Bloody marvellous.